let's go to process trackers because that's really where the heavy lifting is done. It's going to give us some more room here. Also, if you notice, I have used AI to properly JS stock everything. I'll just touch on this send mail up at the top here. I did not integrate an email server in this for the purpose of example, it wasn't important. So what happens when the send mail is called, which is what happens when the price hits a specific trigger, it'll just console log something out so that you know that it actually happened. Uh, if you want to, you can integrate your own email provider here. I, I usually use resend. I've had the most success with that, but that's kind of what's going on here. But let's just start at the top here at what the uh, tracker is doing. So first the task can define its own schedule, but since we have defined the same thing inside of jobs, you could actually remove this. This is optional, it's not necessarily needed, but I just put it here just for purpose of explanation. And then down here, we go to the main handler that you need. As the description states, it fetches active trackers, retrieves current prices from CoinGecko API, and process each tracker against the trigger conditions, which we'll set inside of trackers. We'll circle back to that later. Trackers is the collection that each, what, each entry in the collection will get processed. So we just have a log statement here, which kind of lets you know what's going on. Then we initialize payload because you need to make some payload API calls, throw an error if we cannot find payload, and then we wrap this whole thing to try catch loop. And th this is just the logic of what I'm doing inside of my process trackers. Whatever your job is, you would have your logic inside of here. There's some basic things that you need. Like I said, this is optional. You definitely want to set the slug on it. And then inside your handler is basically where you put your business logic. And this is just showing how I can use payload to actually query, get other things and, and basically leverage the data that I have inside of payload to potentially make an external API call, which is what I'm doing. And then also update the database and do a bunch of other things. So the first thing we do here is we get, we query our trackers collection. We get all of the trackers that exist. Then what we have to do is to call this coin ID, basically what we do with the API is you have a comma delimited list of the IDs of each one of the coins that we're tracking. And then we're using this coin gecko API and then we make our API call. This gives us the list of all the uh, coins and then it returns our price for us. There's an error, we throw an error. Otherwise we take the data, turn it to JSON, and then we basically loop through each one of our trackers and we take our coin ID, we get the current price, and then we make sure that we have the price data so that we can track it appropriately. We set up the email we need to send it to, we set up our trigger reason, and we set trigger to false, and then we attempt to determine if we're using absolute price for the trigger or if we're using percentage.